Hey, this is Ellie from the Maxon Training Team. And in this Redshift quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to set up translucency or a backlighting effect using the standard material node. Let's start from scratch and rebuild this maple leaf shader. This particular material is made up of four individual texture maps, base color, roughness, bump, and subsurface. Connect the base color, roughness, and bump to their relevant inputs. And don't forget to change the color space for each one. You can also use a color splitter node to split out the alpha from the base color to hide any unneeded geometry. Now let's set up the translucency using the subsurface map. First, go into the material node and down the bottom, enable thin walled. This will hide most of the settings in the subsurface menu, leaving only color and weight. You can now think of these as your translucency color and weight inputs. Command or control click the small circle next to the setting to add the input to the material node. This will make it easier to connect your subsurface maps. In some cases, you will have a subsurface color map. Connect this to the subsurface color. However, sometimes you won't have this, just like I don't. So instead, just connect the base color to the input. At the moment, you won't see any difference. This is because the weight value is still set to zero. If you increase this, you'll start to see your translucency or backlighting effect through your geometry. However, this isn't accurate yet because it's applying the same amount of subsurface weight over our entire object. This is where your subsurface weight or thickness map comes into play. Connect this to the subsurface weight input and now we can see a more accurate translucency effect. Thanks for watching. If you like these quick tips, please like and subscribe.